rechts abbiegen in Richtung A73. Bitte an der Ampel links abbiegen in den Franken-Schnellweg. Welcome to St. Gallen in Switzerland. This weekend, we traveled with rent a car from Nuremberg to St. Gallen, a cute little town located in eastern Switzerland. The drive took only around 4 hours for the distance of around 350 kilometers, because in Germany there is no speed limit on the highway, so you can drive as fast as your car goes or you are able to. We started from Germany, passed by Lindau, crossed to Austria for a few kilometers, and then crossed the border between Austria and Switzerland. That means that we were in three European countries in just one hour. The official border between Austria, Switzerland and Germany, of course, still exists, but there is rarely someone checking the passengers, so we just drove through. We didn't arrive to St. Gallen as tourists. We came here to visit my dear family from my mother's side. One afternoon, we took a walk through the city center. What I like about St. Gallen's old town is that the center is very small, so you can hardly get lost. The temperature in St. Gallen is a bit lower than the average temperature in Nuremberg. But this weekend, it was very sunny and warm, and there were a lot of people on the streets. To tell you a bit about history of Switzerland, did you know that the last time the Swiss fought a military battle was more than 500 years ago? Switzerland is the country who has the oldest policy of military neutrality in the world. Her permanent neutrality was guaranteed at the Congress of Vienna on 20th December 1815 by Austria, France, England, Prussia and Russia. Also, Switzerland is the birthplace of the Red Cross, one of the world's oldest and best-known humanitarian organizations. The Swiss flag that you can usually see on many of the Swiss delicious products, like chocolate or cheese, consists of a white cross on a red square background. The flag is based on the imperial war flag of the Holy Roman Empire from around 13th century, which as well had a white cross on red background. Many Swiss soldiers served in the imperial army. The white cross represents the belief in Christianity. The Swiss flag represents neutrality, democracy, peace, freedom, loyalty, and honor. Switzerland, officially the Swiss Confederation, with a population of 8.6 million people, has four national languages, German, French, Italian, and Romance. Okay, let me tell you now something more about St. Gallen. What you can notice immediately when you come to the old town are ornate oriel windows and balconies on the facades of the old houses. An oriel window is mostly found on the upper floor, but sometimes they can be also used on the ground floor. If you watched my Nuremberg travel video, you may notice that in Nuremberg old town there are also a lot of oriel windows and balconies. These kind of windows are also seen in Arab and Turkish architecture. I personally love this architecture style and I hope one day I will live in an old building or house and have my own ornate oriel balcony. For what is St. Gallen the most famous for is the AB Library of St. Gall. Unfortunately, 
this time we didn't have spare time to visit it. But anyway, it is strictly prohibited to film or photograph inside. So even for my last visit to the library, I don't have any video or photo material of it. They take so much care about the library, that even before you enter, you get some kind of plastic bags that you have to put on your shoes, that you don't take the dirt inside the library. You are not allowed to touch anything, only look and admire. The library is located in the old town, near the Cathedral of St. Gall, that is UNESCO World Heritage Site. The library was founded in the 612 and is the third oldest library in the world, after the one in Verona and the one on Mount Sinai. It has the oldest literature collection in Switzerland and one of the oldest and richest in the world. There are more than 160,000 books, all with a huge value and significance. Beside the books, the design of a library is more than beautiful. It is designed in Rococo style and has wonderful decorated walls, floors and ceiling. Very sad I don't have any footage of it, but I hope I woke up your curiosity about the library, so you will come to St. Gallen to visit it and see how amazing it looks. A small insider tip, there is even a 2,700 year old Egyptian mummy displayed in the library. On our walk through the St. Gallen's old town, we arrived to the place called Red Square, when you first see it, you might get the impression that you just entered someone's living room. They also call this square Stadt Lounge or City Lounge. You can take a seat on one of the many red benches and chairs and just get rest from a lot of walking. I used the time to check out if I got some messages from you, my friends. But then I remembered that my mobile data from Germany is actually not working in Switzerland because Switzerland is not part of European Union. But to be honest, it was nice not to have internet connection and just forget about the social media and work for a while. What do you think about the Red Square? Do you have something similar in your town? Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.